Hey everyone, it's Dan at Evolving SEO, and I'm glad to be back with my wall and the lights here, and I'm all by myself, so that's it. My wall, my lights, that's it. And you guys, though, it's been a while since I've done a no board. Uh, I apologize, all you no board fans out there, I know you were sitting just anxiously waiting, YouTube, watching your subscriptions come in, waiting for a no board to show up. Uh, it's been busy. I hope to have an exciting announcement about Evolving SEO in the next week or two, so maybe uh, stay tuned for that. But I want to get to today's topic. So I just recorded this episode once, and it went for 15 minutes, which is way too long, so I'm going to try to do a shorter one. The problem that we're going to tackle today actually came to me through a client. Uh, they have a blog. A lot of people have a blog. Why? I don't know. A lot of people have a blog because they feel like they need to have a blog because everybody has a blog, right? Uh, well, he came to me with this, this concern, though. And the concern is, is that, you know, we have a blog, we write on it, but it doesn't get shares, it doesn't get comments, people don't seem to be talking about it, people don't seem to care about it. So why are we blogging at all? Why should we be blogging? And that's the problem. I see this problem with a lot of companies, whether it be a small business like a plumber or a software company or an e-commerce shop. Everyone's got blogs and no one knows why they have blogs and they don't even know what to write about. So hopefully in less than 50 minutes, I'm going to tackle that right now and give you guys a process that I presented to them that I hope helps you and maybe your clients out as well. So. Instead of focusing on keywords, and what do most people do? They go, I'm a plumber. I need to write about plumbing stuff. Let's write about fixing a leaky faucet. Let's write about all the, the top five tools that a homeowner should have for plumbing accidents at home, right? And they write every article is about plumbing, plumbing this, plumbing that, who's the best plumber, the, the, the top five uh, celebrities that played plumbers in movies. And it's, your head starts to spin after a while, and you're like, why is this guy talking about plumbing all the time? So, that's the problem. So, I've got a process to hopefully fix some of this. Four steps. One, uh, stop thinking about keywords and start focusing on audience, people, right? Who are you trying to connect with? Step two is to be able to complete the sentence. People that are likely to hire a plumber or a software company or whatever you are, are likely to be interested in or care about or want to know about X and be able to fill in the blank with as many, you're just kind of brainstorming. Brainstorm by filling in the blank to that sentence. Here's my blank right there. Fill in the blank right there. Looks like I'm a, I'm a DJ. <laughs> Clearly anything, anything but a DJ. So, uh, although that'd be kind of fun. Uh, anyways, be able to fill in the blank there. We could, we could be able to fill in the blank. So uh, people that are likely to hire a plumber are also probably interested in, I don't know, being a homeowner, maybe their parents, maybe they like uh, uh, working in their shed on the weekend, maybe they like gardening, maybe they like home decor. Start picturing your customers and be able to fill that in. That's step two. Step three, take your brainstorm list of topics, which has obviously been loaded into a bucket over here, and take that, dump them out onto the table. I don't know what's happening today. Dump them out onto the table and align what you or your company might be passionate about with those topics that have been dumped on the table right in front of you. Uh, what are the things that you guys could talk about, are passionate about, have knowledge about, would be, uh, would be excited to talk about on your blog that also is interesting to your client, no, not your client, your customer, well, maybe your client, your customer, your client, whatever you want to call them. That's step number three. Step number four, four, step number four is two, what was step number four? Uh, let's see, step number one, let's review the steps. Step number one, define your audience. It's about people. Step number two, I remember four, step number two is to hypothesize their topics. Step number three is to align them with, with what you guys are passionate about. And step number four is to then take those, maybe you've got a list of like 
five to seven to ten topics that align with both the customer and you guys and do a content gap analysis on those. Where SEO really isn't coming in until the fourth step. That's where you want to bring it in and apply your keyword research, uh, apply your ability to research about what people are interested in. That's where you bring in the, the, the keywords and that sort of stuff all the way into step four. So those are the steps. Uh, and then once you have your topic, uh, I went a lot longer in the other one and all these weird examples and stuff, but those are the steps, right? Define your audience, figure out what they're likely to be interested in, where does that overlap with your company's passions or your passions? What are the gaps in those topics? <clears throat> also, you know, don't be afraid to get detailed. Like, focus, if you're a local business, focus on also your location. People who are likely to hire a plumber who live near Boston, Massachusetts are likely to X. And then, you know, you start to, pull, you start to develop a persona, if you will, of your customer. You're trying to connect with these people. Then, you can also do things like uh, drop the keywords of those interests into follower walk and also type in the location. So see people that are interested in uh, gardening that also live in Massachusetts and get the top people in follower walk. Now, you've got some t people to maybe try to set goals on online of who you want to connect with eventually. Because these are going to be the people that are, should become your audience, your fans. They should be sharing your content. They should want to talk about you. And as this audience grows, more and more people are going to be sharing your content for you. So, last thing, I know what you may be thinking, right? Why am I a plumber and I'm going to talk about uh, gardening, right? It just doesn't make sense. So, I want to remind you that this uh, part of your site, the blog, is, or I'm not saying to talk about gardening all the time, I mean, you can still talk about plumbing obviously, but the point is to try to connect with stuff that matters to your customers. Show them that you understand them. Where are they coming from? What's important to them? What do they need? What could be useful to them? And you can do that in a very concrete way. Uh, this isn't some pie in the sky thing. This is a very concrete way where you can to find their interests, figure out where there's a possibility to, uh, to talk about those interests in a way that's helpful or entertaining or useful. Uh, there's a lot more ideas I have, but I, I really want to try to keep this shorter than the first take and just kind of wrap it up there. So again, there might be an exciting announcement coming up again from uh, Evolving SEO in the next week or two. And uh, glad to see everyone back. I can see you out there. Don't think that I can't see you through my iPhone. And I'll see you the next time, whenever that is, that I decide to do a no-board SEO. Thank you.